Pump you, man. Pump it. Bringing you out. Oh, that's a nice fish. Was I seeing things? All right, everybody, I'm back, Russian Fishing 4, and we are finally got our two feeders, and we're going to head out into the current, and I'm going to change the plans a little bit, because I got a comment from my very first subscriber, Waga Bagaboo. I hope I didn't ruin your name, but your spot you gave me in comments is right next to the one I was planning on fishing, and I did a little exploring there on my other account and I think you're right I think yours at least with these smaller lines yet will be a little more effective I fished in my spot which is just up around the corner a little bit more and I got my rods tore up they're freaking they were nailing everything on the telescopic but okay one other hint I was going to give you is I'm trying to get all of these I can the Simmons happy hook CL11 I think that's going to be the hook I focus on buying now, at least, for the next few shows. I don't have enough to buy. Everything's gone but the 20. I bought one last night when I was digging worms on this account, just to make sure we'd have one, and hopefully there's some left. I got one. So, that's what we got. We're going with two, two feeders and a telescopic. And with the new update coming, the Belaya River or whatever, and the revamping of spinning, I am not even going to mess with the spinning rod right now because I believe you're going to get a starter spinner at games beginning now for free. And I'm just not going to waste my money on one of those Coronas then because they're not very good rods. So we're heading out of the town here, right past the workshop on the two track. Here it is. What's your spot? 110, 126? Alright, this is the spot he sent me, 110, 126, 111, I think 110's right here, boom, it's a really good spot, my spot is over here, they're both very similar, I think the species might be a tiny, let. that's at the head of the pool, let's get more down in the body, I usually fish here and over into those, all that timber over there in the hole, because I think the main body of the hole is right out in there. But I'm gonna go with the subscribers suggestion. I think it I think it'll pay. Let's do it. Let's set up our rods. We're gonna go with our TL twenty. I had the rob I had to rob all of the line off of my TL sixteen. Oh, that girl made it. I'm gonna put you there. Let's check all these. Uh TL twenty. Got the Simmons happy hook size 20 that was all I could get and on that we're gonna throw maggot our other one should be set up to we got nothing on it all right what do we got here d120 fd130 all right I we gotta hurry Change my lines around. 30 grammer hook. I'm gonna go with size eight. Bait caddisfly. I'm going to see if the project I was going to work on will work on this side of the hole too. I can get to some of my snags, but anyways, let's start. Let's look at the map. See that hole that's right at the head of the deepest part, just to our, that's the deepest part. Let's change this a little, let's go right here, and see. Oh, that was horrible. Alright, I'm recasting it. 
I get confused. I have a lot better feeder skill and casting skills on my other account, so this is bunk. But it gets a lot better. I'm going to go with regular worms. And right over there. Poles are a little far apart, but oh well. Another tip, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me get my gear going, see what we can get here. One. I'm going to go with a half meter. That's pretty much where I start always, I know, but it seems to work. What it, you know, that's two, two and a half feet. Yep, we got a bite. Man, he was taken off. Um, nothing too big. This wind might not end up being good, but there we go. Perchy on board. Keep two point. This is one we want. We really want this. Then we can start using boulets, which. I really like using. I seem to get bigger fish, slower, slower fishing. Probably really doesn't pay, but I like doing it, so that's all that matters. And what else we get? Spin fishing, we did any. Bottom fishing, we should go. We'll be getting skill in that. And bait harvesting, I need 1%. Then we open pearl barley and oatmeal porridge. This is kind of a new bait. This really wasn't in the game, but I've used it a little bit on my other account, and it's a good bait. But this, pearl barley, is the one we want. It is excellent. Got it. It's pretty small, maybe a roofie. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, white bream on a worm. Nice. Got it. Wait till it tightens up, and then you set the hook. Go up to 22. 22 is pretty much where I set these at with these lines and these small reels. And it lets you back off if it's too big and you get the fish in if it's not too big. Now these caddis flies, that's not what I'm targeting. I don't even want to say. That is another little perch. Gaming on TL20, and there's a hit. Pump it, pump it. That's the only hook we got. Pump it, pump it. Is that a dace or a chub? Chubster. Look at that. Bam. Chub. Good XP's on them. Go threaded loaf. Monkey Cola. Pop, where I'm from. Alright, so we went deeper. We'll go try by our rods. But I'm thinking we might gotta come up to Wagga Baga Boo's spot a little more. Whoa! Chub, that one's got, that's a trophy, so that's going to pay. It's about 700 grams, that was. With the new update coming out, and the new rods, and the spinning revamp, I'm not even going to mess with that. So we have perfect opportunity just to go for money and go for XP for the next few episodes. We got there, Bleak. Nice. Ooh, 341 XPs. Looks like this one. Worm. Oh, no caddis fly. See, I have to be careful because I'm used to my other 
pulls now. Fishing on my other account. But I'm trying to get that skilled up so I can just do a rash of videos on that new new map. That's a river map. It's got taming, brown trout. It's going to be a spinning map, I think. But and I got no hardly skills. But I'll show you in the store. I bought a... Ooh, nice. That is my tip. Caddis flies. From there where my rod's pointing all the way around and you can probably get them still down in here but I fish normally in that more that should be the deepest that's where that current just gouged a huge pool out there I've seen them in real life be 30 feet deep and it's crazy you would think it's not possible but that's what stumps and logs do when they get in the river um and that's why I wanted the caddis flies because those nice are great XP and good money if you get them when they got the ribbon you know trophies Let's go up here and try it. In the description it says, in that Simmons Happy Hook, if you read those descriptions, I don't know, I haven't explored much further, it says for whitefish. Oh, it says for whitefish, which I believe are your breams, your ides, your chubs, your nace, your dace, probably your bleaks. They look like smelt to me, bleaks. They better pay good for them because they're delicious too. Got it. It's a big fish. Pump you, man. Pump it. Bringing you out. Oh, that's a nice fish. Got there. I think that's a big old bream. Nope, big old gibble. Is that another nace or a chub? The chub got them red fins. They're pretty, man, I love smoked chubs. They're like impossible to find. We used to have a huge industry smoke chubs in Michigan. Grand Haven in particular where I'm from and can't even get a smoke chub here. People are too freaking lazy. Sounds promising. Oh yeah. Come on, give me some weight. I'm going to bite there again. Look at that. It's a great spot, dude. Thank you. Or, dude, or do that. Nace of the good kind. Is that on the caddis fly? See what I mean? I'll just fish with this one down there. And they easily pay for themselves with money and the XP is real. We need to get to level 10. Oh. This is what my gear can handle. And it's a smell. Bleak. Looks like a nace. Ooh. Must have been just... Alright, we're closing in on 10%. I got a fish? All right, let's go with red worms on our float rod. Still at 0.8 meters. All right, I'm gonna reset this one. And we've got a fish on it, so that's excellent. Tiny little sleeper. 
Oh, maybe. Maybe a little meat. Got another giant clam. Ooh. Ooh, a huge zebra mussel. Oh, baby. Ooh, that was a weekly record zebra mussel. Yeah, baby. Wagga bagga boo, hook me up, brother. My sister. Weekly record zebra mussel. What is that going to be worth? That might, If there's a contract for that, it's like a freaking rod, probably. Oh. Tiny little bleak. Oh, look at how. Gudgeon. Look at how ugly that thing is. Doo -doo. Hmm. Almost kind of looks like an algae eater from my fish tank. But smaller. <laughs> uh. Uh -oh. The fighter dace on the blood worms. Float fishing. We're going to hit 25 today. Hopefully 25 plus. Use that one with just one piece left and go. Ooh, up 19.2. Perfect. Oh, if we can do that. We, I gotta. We're going to have to grind up to that. Or at least what we can do is buy some semolina and then we'll make it the next one. Oh yeah, nighttime hit coming. That's how I like to fight them. I like to let them use that frickin' rod. That's how you do it in real life. Let that rod do all the fighting. That's why you have a rod. What do we got there? Let's look at it on the ground. That looks like a nace. Or nace, I think. Yep. 366. Almost 500 XP. That's what the caddis flies are doing for us. Hmm. I really don't want to buy a speed spinner. That's thrown my thing. So we can focus on just getting gear, keep net, and a third feeder because I definitely like feeder fishing. Rufy 10.1 See that is a freaking nice cast and you still have line to do a nice drift. That's another tip. If you you know you heard it, you saw it, it's not doing anything, hit your Y a little bit. If it ain't jingling that bell, chances are it's on there. Especially if you've you know you've hit that looks like a big old no. I thought it might be a big old bleak, but them nate naces are still giving us two points, so boom. Alright, bait. Uh Try a little crumb at night. Let's see. See if it. There's a lot of stuff you can get with crumb. You get white breams are in here. They like the crumb. I mean, gibbles do. Probably bring it up. We'll do a couple casts and bring it up to like 40 centimeters. But you got to give things a chance. Don't just do it once and think that it don't work. It's efficient. Fish do what they want to do when they want to do it. I'd just like to see what we'll get on the chrome. I'll fish it through the night. Seems like the right thing to do. What's that tiny little fish? A dace. Point two. Well, dace are no joke. 
Where's XP? So I'll spinning. take it. And that low end spinner, that Corona short one, is not a good rod. You get no cast. It doesn't even cast till about the middle of the river. Come on. It's got some meat. So we will fish till. I'll fish till noon, anyway. I don't care if it's a long video. Oh. Oof. Oom. Big old perch. I know what I'm eating. Look at that thing. Big old female full of eggs. I love it. Beautiful. Ah, I like that. I'm going to take a picture of that. And keep. Alright. We'll be at 11, 12%. The crumb bite sucks. All right, so experiment. I it's just a worm. You got tons of worms, and worms are good bait. They're kind of like using a shotgun, though. I think you get a little everything. Gudgeon. Sausage turned it on. Oh man, what is that? Nice bleak. And the wheel turns. Got one. What's it look like? Chub? Oh, another dace. 355. And that's just drifting a worm, so that's definitely a tip, people. Good XP, good money, I think they are. And if you got the shovel, it don't cost you a dang thing. I think I'm doing really exceptionally well here. I don't know. I'll have to wait for a comment from somebody. But I think that Simmons, Simmons uh, Happy Hook CL11 is perfect for this. Small size, and these whitefish have tiny little paper thin mouths. So in real life, most people get bites from them, because we have them here in Michigan, on Lake Michigan where I'm from. And you just rip their mouth off, because you have to use a tiny hook. You have to know you're fishing for them. They use like a single salmon egg on them, here. But they're delicious. And I'm not exactly sure if that's all right. The white fish we have here are a little different. But I think the technique is still appropriate for tiny fish. And they are small, but the XP is huge, so it's real. It's like a beautiful morning. I kind of like drifting one bobber. See, I can't do two, though. I just, it feels wrong. I... OCD, I can't feel in control of both of them. I miss fish, and then I feel bad, and I don't know what they were. But on the new map, hopefully I can try some of that real-life stuff that I know and see if it has any effect whatsoever. So we definitely load up on caddisflies. Mayflies would be good. I don't think there's any in the store. Um, fish row would be good there. I'm. Mean, this is just going on my real life experience. Cut fish will probably be good. Lure fishing, of course, will be good. I don't have spoons open on my other account yet. That might change though. Boom! That thing hit like a freaking shark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is on a caddis fly. This could be very good. Back down to 21. 
I do not have the reels. I forget. I just got the little. Looks like a chub, but I can't tell. Common roach. Nice one. Wind yep. has died down a day. We could have a big day. It should help me with my bobber fishing. Beginner rod. Best one. Oh, yeah. She got some bend on it. Let's get it on. Should put some berry white on for this. Come on. Yeah. But a sausage, Kohlberg? Yes, sir. Uh, that muscle. Huge zebra muscle. DC Gaming. I didn't know what to name my second account, so I just picked something. Ah, uh, you got this, Bavarian. Alright, don't horse him too much. I don't want to lose him. Oh, it's keeping its head down pretty good. What is that? Gibble carp. Nice one. It says been deep sixed. Boom, got it. Chinese sleeper of the tiny kind. I can catch tiny I should specialize in catching tiny fish. Gudgeons, bleaks, zebra mussels. Got it. So that's two nice gibbles. That's three or four bucks, probably. Now one was over a kg. That should be two bucks at least. Some of them naces and daces and... Nace, 17 points. Still getting full, too. That does slow down, too, but we have some new species on the list here shortly. Yeah. I hope. Is that a gudge? Yep. Another gudge. Bleakster. Feels pretty good. Worm could be anything. Another gibble. I'll take it. Those are sure money. Oh yeah. There was a fish there. Ooh. Right on the bank. We'll see what that is. Bobber. Looks like another gibble. They're paying, but I don't want gibbles with this rod, especially. That is a gudgeon. Nice common roach, but let's go for some big XP finish. That is in the hole. We'll get our Sorrento. Get it up in there. Let's go with B. Let's go with a maggot. Let's go right up in there. So about 80. Wasn't right where we wanted it, but 
That'll work. All right. Ooh. Pump it, ooh. That is one huge frickin' perch. Huge, look at it. I'm gonna have it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> River monsters. smaller but it's a fish in the deep hole seems to be running a little bit it might be a dace a nace they look the same I think one's a little smaller than the other nace I think that's the one I normally catch see it's 134 pounds or 134 XP 240 grams All right, that was awesome. Time is up. Nothing on it. Coffee's getting to me this morning. All right, let's hustle. Gudgeon 5 got 3. Perch 5 got 4. We got the tiny Chinese sleepers. Nobody catches tiny fish like me. Gibbles? No, bream, bream, bream. Gudgeon. River mussel? Got it. It's another 379. All right, people, that was good, but this is where it's really going to. Okay, that 240 nace we just caught, $1.74. That huge 1 kg, I, I would eat that in-game if I could. I'm not even, 367, that ain't bad. 127, 353, common roach, gudgeon 3, that 487 gibble, $1.20, $1.40, 306 for an 81 gram Balik. One biter. Gudgeon, Gudgeon. Nace, small one. It was a lot of XP. 244 for the KG Gibble. Dollar 18. 3596 for the 128 gram Dace. So Dace are the smaller ones, Nace are the bigger ones. Perch, 47. 295. Three dollar fifty seven three three dollar forty five for the roof five thirty two for three sixty six nace dace one thirteen five twenty six three three and the piece de resistance the zebra mussel eighteen dollars and forty four cents that's what I'm talking about. Bleak Nace 5, 81 cents. It looks like $1.63, 14, 4, $1. 3 for a 632 gram chub, $1. 3. But then they go up from there, and you can get pretty big chubs. I mean, we're talking kgs. I think I got one that's over 4 already, and that's not even a trophy, I don't think. Gibble, uh, 1.3 kgs, 332, 6, 3, 318 for another nice bleak. Dollar fifteen, three dollar thirty-two. It's pretty nice when the dollar thirty-two fish don't even bat your eye. For a total of seventy-one eighty-one. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Snowflakes. All right, let's head to the bait store. That might mean some vodka to finish this one off. Oh, I saved this tip for only the people that spent this much time watching the video I think I found a little thing out dig worms when it's raining you have a lot more success and you get a lot more experience which makes sense 
So, tip for the good fans. Alright, what did we need to get? Let's look... Before we get crazy, let's look at what we got. We want to maximize this all we can. Let's go with our... So we can get 5 kgs as the max line. But the max drag on the tiny one is 3. And we have 3.1 kg on there. Alright, and that goes for the same same but the TL20 can handle 4.5 kg so let's see let's see what we can do in a 4.5 or even I might go mm, I might push it 1071 here. Right here. Don't have the. I like that yellow. Um. Gonna do it. Gonna buy the 5 kg. All right, hooks. We'll go right up the line. Simmons Happy Hook. 20. 1. Uh, we got nothing small there. Looking for a... What do we got here? Nothing. These are all... Those look like great hooks. That is the CL12, but... They don't got much here, other than the big stuff. Um, I guess that means I just go with another one of those. Uh, no. Alright. Bait. Bye. Bait. Bye. Bait. Bye. Hmm. And I'm going to add to our repertoire here with the corn. Bang, bang. Leaders, no feeders, no ground bait. Yes. Ground crackers. One, two, three, four. We're going to go attractants. I'm going to get bloodworms. One, two. Millet porridge. One, two, three dollars worth. Fly maggots. One, two. And I'll show you in future episodes what's that. I might even knock that out of here. I'll I'll show you in future episodes what my plans are with that. We probably need to do another. We need to do a lot more fishing, but I'm going to start making it to skill up ground bait. I want level two. Alright, here we spent a lot of money. Let's get four of them. Three of them. Alright, semolina. That's not what we want. I always buy the wrong thing. We want pearl barley. One, two, three. And then we'll make the other bait that opens up after it. This is my big one. We'll go into it next time, make everything, and try to do some fishing with it. But anyway, everybody, like, subscribe, comment, share. Please give me more spots. That was great having somebody give me a comment and give me some direction instead of me being playing it too close to the vest. Okay, have a great uh, week. I'll see you soon. Bye. Put some berry white on for this. Come on. Yeah. Hit like a freaking shark. Gudgeon. Look at how ugly that thing is.